So here's my first attempt to make maple syrup. I have two gallons of sap in this um, almost four gallon steel enamel pot. Uh, this is a induction um, burner, single burner um, hot plate. And I have an oven bag there that is wrapped around and sealed with tape on this tube, this steam tube. Um, this foam is being held down with a bunch of weight. I'm trying to seal as much as possible because I want the steam to go up into the tube and come down and then go into this tube of aluminum foil that I made. It's about six feet long and the thought here is that it will condense most of the steam. Um, so I'm doing this in my basement and I, I don't mind using a little electricity to make maple syrup I don't want to necessarily lose all the heat. Um, we're still in the heating season here, so this heat will rise up through the house and um, stay within the envelope of the house. And once it's up to temperature, there should be um, condensate dripping out into that pot. So I've measured and I know how deep this pot is with two gallons of sap. And I know how deep that pot is with one gallon of water and my thought is that I'll be able to predict based on measuring the amount of condensate um, how much this is boiled down and I could stop it at a reasonable point where I could take it up on the stove and finish it off and it won't introduce so much humidity into the house.